In Maine, authorities say 18 people are dead and 13 more wounded after a mass shooting last night. It happened at a bar and bowling alley, both packed with people. An urgent manhunt is still on for the alleged gunman now. We just got an update from law enforcement in the last couple of hours, too. Police have named 40-year-old Robert Card as a person of interest. He's a trained firearms instructor who recently reported mental health issues. NBC's Emily Aikida joins us from Lewiston, Maine with the latest. This morning in Maine, the race is on to find a killer who's still on the run. Multiple victims for an active shooter in the town of Lewiston. After horrific shootings at two businesses left up to 20 people dead, according to law enforcement sources who say there may be up to 50 people injured. Police searching for a person of interest, 40 year old Robert Card, saying he's armed and dangerous. If people see him, they should not approach Card or make contact with him in any way. Local police also releasing these photos of a suspect holding an assault rifle and this white SUV that authorities say was found nearby in the town of Lisbon. On Wednesday night, local officials say the gunman attacked two locations about four miles apart, Schmiggy's Bar and Grill and Spare Time Recreation, a bowling alley which was full of young people. And tonight was youth night, so they were... The place was just crawling with teenagers, so uh, we suspect and fear that many of the victims there are going to be young teens. A police intelligence bulletin revealing more information about the person of interest, saying Card was trained as a firearms instructor and believed to be in the Army Reserve. That release also says he recently reported mental health issues, including hearing voices and threats to shoot up the National Guard base in Maine. As the community waits and grieves, Leroy Walker says he hasn't heard from his son, who was at work as a manager at Schmiggy's. My son is dead and I know he's dead. I know it as well as I know. I'm standing here telling you because he's not here and he's not at any other hospital. Anxious residents waiting outside a local hospital, hoping to hear any updates about loved ones. As one can imagine, it's your worst nightmare. This is a developing story, and we will continue to keep you updated on the latest information, both on air and online at WBIR.com.